Hello team and uh, happy Sunday, happy Monday, whenever you're watching this uh, weekly forecast video, something I want to try and see if you like this. Uh, basically, we're just going to review the week workouts are, that are coming up uh, so you can have a better plan of what we're doing and why we're doing this. Um, but before I start, I just wanted to say hell yes and thank you for uh, all the people making it into the committee club, but also everyone else that has uh, showed up and tried their best this, this month. We had, or in April, we had a record month in attendance. I'm so happy to see that because uh, it's the consistency that matters and you guys know this. All right, let's jump into this week's workouts and uh, it looks like following that uh, Monday we have our our Murph prep and it's going to be a longer AMRAP and we're going to work on strict pull-ups, strict push-ups and air squats. And the idea is here, of course, to build up that capacity for, for Murph so you don't get uh, busted. Small reminder, Murph is going to be the 1st of June and I really want everyone to join for this because this is a, going to be a test that you can redo in 10 years from now, 20 years from now and see how your fitness has evolved over time. And you might think like, yeah, in 10 years, it's it's gonna be worse. No, actually not. Um, we can see data on people like doing CrossFit for you know 20 years now, 30 years, and they're improving. And I think you can do that too. <clears throat> All right, Tuesday, we're gonna continue to work on snatches. And a small reminder here is obviously that if you're, you know, a bit newer, then this is just great time to to get better at the technique. And for the stronger athletes and that uh, have a bit more experience, you have both you have both technique and strength that you can work on and stamina. So it's it's an awesome setup uh to work in and we're gonna work in two and two. So this is also gonna be a, a new factor. So you actually see how somebody else is working. It's also gonna help you to to perform better. Um, we have a, a classical CrossFit workout. It's one of the girls' workouts. Um, there are these na named workouts uh, that are called the girls, and this one is called Isabel. It's 30 power snatches for time. It's a classic one. It's it's a floor to the, or pedal to the metal. So meaning you floor it in this workout and try to get out of this workout as quickly as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, for some, for most people, this is going to be a new experience to do Isabel and that's fine. For some people that uh, need to have, are redoing this, this is going to be, again, a great testament to how much your uh, fitness apps improved for the last years. Okay, uh, Wednesday, we are going to work on skills and toaster bar skills. So a bit of more gymnastics. And we have these gymnastics drills every week that we are building in so you can get more skill development and have a bit of time to just work on those skills. And um, we're ending that workout with uh, a pacing workout. Is We would say like six sets where we're going to work on some machine. We're going to work on lunges and uh, jumping and kettlebell swings so you you definitely going to have um a full <laughs> full workout that day thursday we have menetag and uh, um this day we we have um uh, cleans we're going to work on technique for the cleans uh, and we have a classical uh, kind of also one of these girls workouts, Annie, but it's called Bad Annie. Uh, so it's not an official benchmark workout really, but uh, we are doing uh, double unders and sit-ups. And for those who have done regular Annie, you know that you usually tend to feel those abs after the workout and a couple of days after. And I, I don't expect to be anything else from this one. And then we have uh, Friday, we have, a again, a, a bit of a pump workout, but we definitely have a bit more cardio this Friday. So uh, for those people that 
along a bit more cardio, you will have a bit more cardio and legs involved, not only upper body uh, and a small mini pump at the end. Saturday, we're going to have a, uh, a bit of a longer just move workout. Again, we're not going for max intensity, but to have a good, good sweat. And uh, on Sunday, we pair up in teams again, have a great blasting workout. And now we're going to uh, work on those toaster bar skills that we developed in, in, during the week and test a bit of that. And we're going to work on snatches, dumbbell snatches. So um, definitely a good workout for for a team. And also we have, um, and it's actually a... Um, a, uh, it's, it comes from a, set, a quarterfinals workout from, from CrossFit. So it was one of these official workouts that they did now for the qualifiers. And um, yeah, that, that's that's about it for, for the week. I'm super excited to see, well, everyone uh, evolving in, in, in this space. And uh, again, uh, if you feel that you have low energy one day, Make sure to show up. You don't have to floor it every day. Uh, go with your body's feeling and then simply um, you can always um, just go for a 60% workout and that's better than doing nothing. Okay, great job. And uh, let's get this week rolling.